Hello and welcome back to Reign of Pain. Today we're going to be going in with a lantern that I didn't even realize that I unlocked during our last run called Lantern of the Ox. All primary stats are converted into vents, except health. This is going to be something. I mean, I've been talking about how the fence is so good. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try this. I like the idea that I have a new lantern, so I don't have just one lantern that we haven't won with. I now have three lanterns that we haven't won with, so we're going to kind of be bouncing between the ones that we haven't won with. So this means all items, primary stats are converted to health. So we're going to find out here in a minute whether that means the ups and the downs. It also means that we will never take defense on a level up. There's literally no reason to. I want to drive this guy this way. He's trying to hit me. I'll be able to take that healing. And one, two. It might be better to try and just pass because, yeah, we would have died if we had fought. So this should be plus two. Oh, except for health. Except for health. So we do want that because it gives us some health. Yeah, it just it just shows you on the item. All of the items just give you plus or negative to, to uh, defense. Okay. Well, Soul Stealer is still very good. So we're going to use it. Use this to kill this guy. And then that kills me, so we leave. Hard mode, mate. Almost never finished the first floor anymore. Chugging Mask is um, a little bit less health. But we will get some more health out of it. Theoretically. I'm going to go ahead and heal right away. Look at all these health, uh, these uh, defense items in here. Poison is going to be valuable. I'm going to try and take this. And then we're going to do this and step away. And it'll blow up that... I, I timed that wrong. I'm silly. Well, we're going to have a lot of parry chance. It's blow damage by, taken by two. Pretty good. That... That, um... The bad underwear thingy was actually very funny because it gives me 10 defense, but I still don't want the negative, the reverse speed thing. Oh, you know what? The reverse speed thing would have been so good. Oh my God. I just thought about that. I could have killed my speed. Damn it. That was actually a great opportunity. Oh, well. This guy does zero damage to us, so I'll be back in 10 years. I'm joking. I'm not going to this out. He literally can't hurt me, though. There we go. We'll take the reprieve just because we might as well. It'll be a little bit of healing. We'll take this first. Nope. Okay. <laughs> there was a chance. There was a chance. Um. We want you to explode in place. We might want you to explode in place. So we're going to do that. We're getting better at the whole bombs thing. It just takes a lot of brain power, man. It really does. A couple guaranteed curse resistances is not bad. We're going to step away and dies. We need speed pretty bad. Kill this guy so we don't take the damage. Would have been nice to have something for that. That's okay. Uh, we're going to take crossroads over volatile. I kind of like an ambush. Patience is scary. Instability is scary. You know what? We haven't done aggression in a long time. We have a lot of defense, and we're getting a lot more over time, so we're just going to go ahead and take aggression. Yeah, so that guy will hit that guy. That's what I thought. Because it hits all nearby people. Okay, so this doesn't cost me a turn, right? No. Picking up this does, but he's not going to move. He's not going to attack me, that is. He's just going to move. Yeah, see, that's they're going to attack each other. I'm fine with that. Man, these guys hit so hard. Why am I taking so much damage from that? Because it's the four piercing damage. That's what it is. We'll go ahead and grab this. I don't really want the explode. Um, and I need my damage. 
It's an unfortunate waste. Basically, just trying to use this guy to kill everything. Um, I think I need to run now. Oops, I didn't see that they had their thing on cooldown. Well, okay, now I really need to run. Probably don't take the potion here. Um, yeah. Definitely taking the potion here. I was paying so much attention to the big guy that I didn't notice the little guy is being off of cooldown. We're gonna all do this so he explodes in place. Take some speed here. Get some healing. And then explode this guy in place. We'll take an item. Uh Albert's useless now, ironically. We're gonna try this. Yep, plus six. Okay. Guaranteed curse resistance. Gets us this scroll. You know, for as high of a parry chance as we have, I'm really surprised we're not parrying more often. Take some more speed here. Poison this guy and walk away from him. For a little bit more souls. Take a heal and beautiful. I'm actually kind of liking this uh, Lantern of the Oths thing. Um, I want this guy to explode in place, prefer preferably. Oh yeah, he hadn't started yet. Of course. Uh, I'll take a freeze here. And we're going to take speed. Even if I freeze this guy, I can't kill him. So I think we're just going to freeze him and walk away. Guaranteed curse resistance. There's a speed. Then more speed. Some HP. Then I think we leave. Yeah. The guaranteed, guaranteed curse resistance is so nice, especially in the beginning here. Are we faster? Yeah, so it's better to just attack him. Feed. Heal yourself based on the amount of petrify, and you can pass blockers. I'm going to take the pass blockers because A, that's good, and B, it gives us 8 freaking HP. We need to just move past that guy, and then that guy, and then I need more damage. This guy to come out of defensive mode. Man, why is he stepping fence? Jeez, okay. We'll be able to kill him. I actually have a better idea for our poison. We'll hit this guy once. We're going to poison this. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. That's a potion over there. We don't know if it's a real potion, though. We're going to do that again. Just, you know, patience. It was not a real potion, but we can heal. Because guaranteed curse resistance. 
Um, we're gonna leave right after this, so I'm okay with taking this hit. Volatile. Yeah, we'll take Volatile. I should have known that other one was the core path. So we would always take Volatile in that situation. Uh, we definitely go to the left here. And then they all explode. Creepier doll. And we go to the right to get this guy to explode in place. Beautiful. We can take that if we need to, but I don't want to. I think I actually have to. Yeah. What's for our parry chance? Some nesting creature? Uh, sure. Pick it up. Take this 75. Maybe it'll get something good. Mean to intimidate or intimidate on attack. We have intimidate poison cre poisonous creatures on attack. Why did it not work on that guy earlier? Huh. We should we should be in Oh he attacks first, that's why it didn't work. Let's see what's over here. One of these guys. Yeah. Three, four, five, six. This is we this is not a great situation for us right now. Still not a great situation for us right now. This will take us down to one HP. We have a 30% chance of dying here. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was really freaking close. Really freaking close. That was that was literally like heart of the cards there. Um I was all about the dice roll. I hate that these guys actually can do damage to me now. Pass this guy like this, so he explodes over there. Not literally ideal, but man, I might have to give up on this floor. We're just too weak right now. We have no damage. Take a reprieve. Full heal really kind of like sets us back up. Okay. Finders keepers. Freeze on parry. That will help probably help a lot. We, like, can't hurt this thing. Uh, a bear trap. He's dead. We're gonna hit him once anyways, though. That'll let us poison. And step away from him as he does his little aggression attack. Step away from him again. I planned this wrong. Yeah. He's going to get away. I have nothing, no choice here. I did that wrong. Well, there's a reprieve here, so I guess we take it again. Man, having all defense is actually a little rough because we don't have any freaking damage. Take the guaranteed curse resist on the big potion. We're down to one charge left of that. We need to keep that in mind. So our next curse resist is our last. We can pass blockers. They can't. Which is valuable because these guys are going to move towards me. Let's 
step away from him so we don't take unnecessary extra damage. Are we fast enough? No. But we're immune to intimidate, so we hit him anyway. I'm thinking is we fill it up some poison over here. That's kind of funny. Because of the fact that they both want to move towards me, they just keep swapping places. Freeze this guy. Well, that math mathed out exactly perfect. Took three tries to do a 30% chance. Um, if we do this, we'll get a poison counter. Which does not kill him. We'll do 10 damage. And we only have a 50% chance of surviving that attack. Hmm. Statistically, I have a very small chance of this killing. Meanwhile, that was kind of amazing. Gain three reflect damage when hit. I'm good with that. We parried him. If we go for that chest over there, we die. What's our parry chance here? Zero. He does too much damage. It's 14 damage. We have 0% chance of parry. There is a chest right there, and we cannot get it. So what will happen, if you haven't figured it out, is because of the fact that we reflect three damage on parry, or three damage when hit, we have a... 60% chance whenever we pass him to do three damage to him. And then another 60% chance to whenever we pass him to do three damage to him. And then he explodes for 12 damage and kills us. So the only way we survive is if there's something in there that gives us enough HP to survive this. So it'd have to be like um, minus two, put us at nine. We would have to add five or more HP from this item. And we only have enough uh, souls to roll once. So this is insanely risky to take. I really do want it, but it is insanely risky to take. Evasive would have been fantastic here. Nazis grab is not actually useful because we can't shuffle reliably. The HP actually gives us more resources than anything else does. Ow. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? You get absorbed no matter what. I wish we could wait a turn. Basically had to take our luck there. I just going to move away. I mean, we open this, right? Because... Basically, our only chance of surviving. This is our only chance of surviving here. Okay, he's going to eat again. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't realize I was in range. So our best chance here is 60% chance to... Yep, nope. 
Hey, we're 19 minutes in, so we're going to do another run. This is still the defense charm. Never mind. Perfect. Got more items. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll fly three explosions is fine. Some uh, nesting creature is fine. We're not going to use it right now, though. We need a bunch more damage before we summon a nesting creature, to be honest. And we leave. We try to kill that thing, but not worth it. I'd rather use it whenever we can kill something else. I don't really want that. Nadir Curse resistance is kind of um kind of bad. Especially in the beginning of the game. This guy has a 0% chance of damaging us. Take this item over here. And splash damage is pretty good. Yeah, very good, actually. We can manipulate this so that we can use this guy to kill other guys. Yeah, look at that. We are going to... You know what? Let's just double down on defense. Not a bad idea. Let's take an item first here. Four more defense. Oh, summon a nesting creature. We'll do it here. And then take this. And... I remembered at the last second that we had the heat shield. So, killing him was the better answer. I was like, how do I do this? There, I, feel, I felt like there was a way. Felt like there was a way. I'm gonna do this. Heat shield's so useful early, man. Get a ton more defense. I wanna freeze both of these guys. I can get ahead of this guy. He walked away for a moment. We don't reflect anything yet, so we can do this pretty safely. Might take the rock for now, to be honest. Man, I don't know if we can kill this guy. We have no damage. Yeah, I don't think we can. We just have to leave. Um, after spell use, petrify front cards. Or a bunch of healing. I'm going to take the, petri uh, the, the bunch of healing. I mean, a different run chaotic healing is fantastic. We have one more charge. There we go. I want this really badly. As soon as he damages us, we're going to freeze him. Well, that worked out in the end, sort of. Just get a bunch of parry chance, I guess. Like I said, doubling down on on 
defense isn't the worst thing in the world. This is a 10 heal. We do need some attack, though. We need... Sorry. I don't mean attack. We actually need a form of damage. It doesn't have to be attack. Extra damage to frozen creatures. Kind of wasted on this guy, so... We have a 60% chance of marrying him. Do we have any? We don't have any targets. Let's do this. Oh, splash damage ruined that for me. Oops. This is why that I say splash damage is dangerous. It's not that splash damage is actually dangerous, is that I'm bad with splash damage. Plus three to attack is pretty good. Snare all creatures. I'm actually going to use that right now. Yeah, right now. We can't kill that guy. Forty-nine percent chance. Um, I think I'd rather go for the item over here. Which we can't afford. Damn. We need a thing that reduces um, piercing damage. Be really good. Because we can't kill shit. That would kill us. We leave. Hope for the better. Hope for better in the future. Take the first potion. That is a drifter. He's gonna do like four damage to us. We'll send him away. That was perfect. A bunch of damage is useful. We have, like, no speed. <laughs> I can do this. Yeah. Basically, play the 50% odds there. Man! Yeah, we're, we're struggling. We're struggling a little bit here, guys. So this does nothing? Or does this give me defense? No, this actually manages to give me clarity. That's what it says it does, though. At least. Is it going to give me clarity? I want to find out. It still gave me clarity. Okay. Temporarily got rid of... We temporarily got rid of the, um... Splash damage. Something to keep in mind that we don't have splash damage. If anything, I would like that item back there. So, we can go this way to only kill one thing. 50% chance. We can't carry poison, though. If we come over here... Even if this hurts us, which it did... Um... Freeze you. And leave. Perfect! 100% intended, right? Totally. Reflect when hit. I'm fine with that. We just need to make, make sure we're careful about passing things. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, this won't kill this. And we are going to take, take a bunch of speed here.
attack. I didn't mean to heal there. That's okay. Plus five defense whenever half help, health. Mm. I don't really need it. I am actually going to take that and then go to Wishful. We have a lot of items we can get rid of in Wishful. So we definitely get rid of the Generalist. We definitely get rid of the Shield, which is done. We'll take the defense from this. Oops. One too many items. That's okay. We don't have the ability to pass blockers. We don't kill this guy, so the best option is to try and take the two. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take some damage here. We'll take one damage from that guy, ever, no matter what. We're going to heal six. We're going to take three damage from him. 40% uh, chance. Aggression. I don't like the idea of leaving to aggression. That has four piercing damage. I stepped into that and got really lucky on the parry there. So we do five damage to him. He has 11 HP. takes three attacks. Damn, we can't get him to blow up the thing. Um, what's this over here? We kill him because of the future essence. Uh, we have a 60% chance of living here. Yeah, okay. 100% chance of all the risks you don't take, right? The, car, the, the scroll is a little wasted, but I was panicking. Curse on native, or curse on attack for each point of native clarity, transfer all poison from self. I just don't take the healing. Man, this high defense run is just as harrowing as the low defense run was. So we got a drifter over there. Healing potion over here, but this guy needs to go. Hmm. We have to move. That was unfortunate. Yeah, we leave. There's there's no other choice there. I have a choice. You have a choice inside your heart. A choice will tear this world apart. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen that voice line before. Okay. Never punished. Except I just did it to myself. Oh, we're dead. Yeah. I think we were dead either way. How much damage does this guy do? Yeah, we were dead either way. Well... Brought our own terms with us. Yeah. Seven damage. Jeez. So that's actually not seven damage. That's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right? So that's like, you know, 13 
18. Over 20 damage. Yeah. Taking one poison roam, uh, roaming poison bead on hard mode is basically a death. Well, hard mode is definitely hard. Uh, this lantern is kind of cool, but um, definitely having a, still having a hard time with it. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes anyways. I hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye.